Hi, welcome to New Concept. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use the ultraluminous marker to mark tiles. That includes mahjong, dominoes, or pegao tiles. In this case, I'm going to be using white dominoes. And the reason I'm using white is because white tiles are typically the most difficult to mark. In your case, you might have actually have uh, red tiles, pink tiles, so forth and so on. And if you're wondering whether they'll present the problem, please feel free to mail a couple of tiles to the concept, and we'll be happy to test them for you. Uh, you'll notice in this particular case, uh, the tile um, is unmarked, uh, so you can actually watch the marking process take place right in front of your eyes. Uh, in order to do that, uh, the first thing you need to do is to understand how you're going to mark the tile. Uh, in this case, we have a 3 and a 6. Uh, dominoes are easy because they're typically only numbers. Uh, mahjong tiles and some other tiles may have fancier designs, uh, but it's up to you to figure out how you're going to mark the back of them. So in the case of the 3 and the 6, we're going to write a 3 and a 6 on the back of the tile. Uh, obviously, you can't see it with the naked eye. Uh, however, sometimes it does leave a slight glossy finish on the tile. Uh, so we get rid of that shine simply by buffing it, and then the tile is left completely normal and the finish is perfectly consistent on the back. Next, we're going to see what the tile looks like uh, through the ultraluminous sunglasses, and you could clearly see that we have the three and the six that we just wrote on the back of the tile. As far as the naked eyes are concerned, uh, you'll notice that when we remove the ultraluminous sunglasses, that the tile looks perfectly normal. So uh, that's really all there is to it. Uh, you basically write on the tile with the marker. Uh, sometimes you may have to buff it uh, to make sure the finish is perfectly smooth and consistent. And that's how simple it is to use the ultraluminous marker to mark tiles. Uh, again, it does work on Mahjong, Pegao, as well as regular dominoes, which you saw in this particular demo right here. So if you would like to send us some tiles in case you're questioning whether your tiles would be uh, work with the ultraluminous product, um, just feel free to send us sample tiles and we'll let you know. Um, our website is www.mark-cards.com and you, our email address is located there as well. So uh, contact us at your earliest convenience. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.